Hi guys, in this lesson we're going to take a quick look at the visible binding, as well as take a look at how to serialize our view model cleanly and generate a representation of it that we may want to send back to the server. The visible binding is a simple binding that controls whether or not an element is visible. The observable property that the element is bound to should have a boolean value. When the value is truthy, the element is visible, and when it's falsy, the element is hidden. We can add a button element to our app that is shown when changes to the editable elements are made in order to prompt the user to save the changes. We can use the visible binding to only show this button when changes have actually been made. We'll need a new property on our view model, which we'll call show button. So the property is an observable and we can initially set its value to false so that the button will be hidden to start with. So next we can add the HTML that will be bound to this observable. So we want to add this to our controls element. And it's the visible binding that we're using. And we'll just add a class name as well. Now we just need to set our binding to true whenever editable text is changed. We can do this in the blur handler for editable elements. So this is back down in our editable content custom binding. So in the blur handler, when something is changed, we can just set the show button observable to true. So that's pretty much all there is to it. As soon as some text is edited and the element loses focus, the button will become visible. So now we've got a save button, we should probably think about saving the change data back to Flickr. We can use a click binding on the button to wire this up. And we'll also get to see some of the utilities Knockout provides for working with JSON data. So Knockout provides the toJS method, which serializes the view model to a plain JavaScript object. This will cleanly extract the data from our view model, including any dynamic data held in observables or even computed observables. You should know that Knockout also provides the toJSON method, what this method does is call toJS internally and then uses the browser's native JSON serializer to generate a JSON string of the view model data. We won't actually use this method, you should just be aware that it exists. And we won't actually be sending the new data to Flickr. For this to work, we'd have to go through a number of hoops to authenticate with Flickr, and this video series is about knockout, not about OAuth. But we can still serialize the data as if we were going to post it off somewhere. So we can add a new method to our view model to perform the serialization. So here's our view model. And we can add a serialized method to it. Inside this method, we first want to get the data, which we can extract from our view model using knockouts to JS method. And this method takes the view model that we want to serialize as an argument. So that will just be our view model. So first of all, we get the clean object representation of our view model. We need to do this so that we can delete the properties that we probably aren't interested in sending back to the server, like the combined title and date. We get both of these independently from the server anyway. And the show button and sorts properties, we probably don't want to send those back either. So we can use the JavaScript delete operator to do this. And we just specify the properties that we want to delete. So once we've deleted the properties that we're not interested in, we can just manually stringify the object into a JSON object, or a JSON string, sorry. So 
So now we need to just wire up the button so that it calls the serialize function when it's clicked. So we use the event binding once again to do this and we're interested in the click event and we want to call the serialize method. So just to test it's working, let's log the JSON string that we've just created. And let's go back to the page. So if we edit one of the titles, then the button becomes visible. And let's just open up the console ready. So when we click the button, we get the JSON from our view model. And we can see that the property that was edited has been updated. So everything's working as we would expect. So in this lesson, we looked at the visible binding and saw how we can use it to toggle an element's visibility. We also took a look at the 2JS method, which Knockout provides to give us a clean object representation of the data held in our view model. In the next lesson, we're gonna take a look at the value binding that Knockout provides for working with input elements. Thanks for watching.